Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Jump by Amy and this is your Dumbbell Sweat and Strength Workout. This is day 19 of your Body Fit Strong Challenge. In this workout, we will be using a set of dumbbells. Have a few options available if you have them because we are gonna have some sweat rounds, both body weight cardio and sweat with the weights and some strength rounds back to basics where you can go a little heavier. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you lots of different options to be where you are today and work to your level. I'm so happy you showed up to move with me today. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's get started moving our bodies with a march or a jog. Just try to shake all that tension out from the day, from the week, whatever it is for you. Start with some rolls of the shoulders. Again, you can be jogging if that feels better for you, or just a little march to the back. Make them a little bit bigger. Try to get them up there high for that mobility. And then let's switch it here. As always, we're gonna keep the warm up short so we can keep the workout short. If you need more, check out the links in the descriptions. You can find my extended warm up, extended cool down, 10 minute videos. If you need a little extra, do what's best for you. We're gonna keep this one even a little bit shorter because our first sweat round is going to be a mobility round, right? So we're gonna take it here to here, lean into it. So here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna start with a body weight cardio mobility sweat round. It is three minutes, that's all that it is. And then we're gonna take it to a strength round that will be more of that back to basics. So isolations, where you can go a little heavier, that's where I encourage you to go heavy. Let's do one squat and one hinge. It's a little good morning here. One squat and hinge. Right after that, we will take it to a sweat round that is with weights, right? So we have our strength round back to basics. Let's roll those hips right here, here to here. You can even get the shoulders and elbows going with it. Back to basics, isolation, strength, go heavy. Then we add some compound, add a little intensity to it in our sweat round. Let's tap it back right here, here to here. In our sweat round with weights, so maybe one weight or lighter weights, I'll give you some options. That's what will really drive that heart rate up. Then we'll have another body weight, short cardio mobility, couple minutes, and then we'll do it again strength round and stretch round. Let's take it here. Drop it down if you can. Knee here, let's go down and up. If you need to keep it higher, keep it higher. Reach that arm up and then reach that arm through. Take it down and up. So hopefully that makes sense. Don't worry, it will. Step it up and in. Basically all you need to know is that we're gonna have short intervals. Take it up reach through, take it up, reach through. Oh, we didn't do the knee. Let's do the knee, drop it down. Yes, here we go, stay high if you need to. Getting it done, step it in, round it up, tap and reach across. So, sweat round, cardio mobility, so that's your body weight round, more of a warm up. Strength round, back to basics, go heavy, isolations, sweat and strength round what we're gonna call it. And that is where we go a little lighter or one weight, one dumbbell, add some power, add some compound movements and get that heart pumping even more. Then we have body weight, cardio mobility, strength, then sweat and strength. Bring it up. Here we go. Ha! I'm feeling really tight today from some other workouts filmed today and yesterday. So, I'm gonna encourage you, just like I'm gonna encourage myself, to be where you are today. So remember, if you showed up today, you are successful, that's all that matters. If you need to go a little lighter, go a little lighter. If you need to take more breaks, take more breaks. If you need to do something totally different, as long as you're safe and you're moving, that is okay with me. The important thing is that you're here, you're moving your body, you are getting it done. All right, starting with our cardio mobility, we're gonna take it side lunge, join me. You've got 40 seconds, side and up, side and up. You decide if you wanna keep it mobility since we're still in warm up mode. Take it here, 
If you wanna take it to that shuffle, take it shuffle. Up to you. It's all in what you need today. If you're still warming up, really focus on the mobility of it. If you want more heart rate, take it here. 10 seconds to go. Breathe. We're here to here. Yes, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, next move, we're gonna take it two little tap outs. So just like we do in the warm up, we're gonna reach across and then we're gonna reach low and low. Try to get low if you can. Again, if you need more mobility, just get the stretch. If you wanna pick up the pace to add a little jump, you can. Sweat round, here we go. And low and low. Reach across, reach across, low and low. I think you're gonna like the variety of this workout because we have these short blocks, three minutes, five minutes, whoo, and down, and down. Three minutes, five minutes, five minutes. So just think all you have to get through on this round is three minutes. And once you're in it, all you have to get through is 40 seconds. Think small and then big picture. This workout's gonna be done before you know it. Last one, reach across, reach across, low and low. Shake them out. Last thing, two options. You can take it to that hinge, reach down, reach up, or inchworm it out, where you actually walk yourself out, feel that core, feel that stretch, walk yourself back. Either one is good, but let's warm up that spine. Here we go. Hinge, warm up the core if you can. You can hang out here for a second. Walk it back, all the way up and reach. Slow and controlled, yes it's cardio, but your heart rate's gonna get up either way. Feel that core, really walk your way through it. We're not going fast on purpose because again, we still want that hinge, we still want that warm up through our back. Your heart rate should be up, especially after those other two moves. So let's keep it moving. Here, walk it out, breathe, walk it back, yes. Woo. Five seconds. Oh. Walk it back. Here we go. All right, shake it out. So you're gonna grab your heavy weights going into our strength round. We've got what we call a one and a half lunge. So basically a lunge pulse, right? Watch me. Down, pulse, step it in. You can keep it stationary, you can move it all on one side. Here we go. So lunge. Pulse, step up into it if you want. Lunge, pulse, up, one and a half lunge. Down, half, and up. Make sure you're still getting low on both. If you need to modify, you can tap, little pulse, and up. I know, holding those heavies. If you're going heavy and you wanna keep it stationary, that works too. Lunge, pulse, and up, yes! Five seconds, can you get one more? All the way, and breathe. All right, we're gonna get the same thing other side. If you need to, give your hands a little break from that. I know I do if you're holding those heavies. I got my 15s. Same thing, step back into it. Little half lunge at the bottom, step into it, or keep it stationary, or tap it back. Grab those weights, 40 seconds. Down, and up. Slow and controlled. Stationary, down, up. Yes, low. You can always take this body weight. You can always take this one weight. You do you. I just want you here and I want you to challenge yourself for you. Nobody else, it's just you. Just you and me here today. You got no competition, you're here. For you, you showed up for you and the people you love, right? Whoo! Yes! And breathe! All right, team. We're gonna hang on to those heavies. We're still in strength mode, right? We're gonna take it to a row. We're gonna add a little hinge with it. One, so we get the back break, and two, so we get the hinge. Down, we're gonna go close row, wide row, all the way up. Try to go heavy if you can. We're gonna come up in between. Here we go. Down. Close row, wide row, all the way up. Hinge, close, wide, 
and up. If you need to stagger, you can take it kickstand. Hinge, and up, then switch your legs. Kickstand. If it doesn't feel as good for you being in just that regular hinge, that's okay, we got 10 seconds. Let's make it good. Core engage. Close, wide, and up. Last one. Up. And breathe. Oh. All right, team, we're taking it down to the mat. I'm gonna go a little lighter with this because we've got a pullover coming. So it's up to you, it's core. We're gonna pull it over our head so it's upper back and shoulders. If you're modifying, especially pregnancy, early post DR, take it with a bridge. Otherwise, join me here. Here we go, pull over. Everything up and in. You can do a little tap of the toes. Everything in. Tap, slow and controlled. Again, thinking of those slow movements that really increase that time. And right, again, modification, just a bridge. Or you can also do this, if that's too much for your shoulders, you can also do this with no weight. Just make it that full crunch in and out. Think about that tilt of the pelvis. Remember, we wanna get that in. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, yes. All right, team, back up onto your feet. I know it's a lot of up and down. So I'm gonna go with one medium dumbbell. Whew. We're gonna take it to a raise. Twist, twist, and down, all upper body. Let's get it done. Up, twist, twist, and down. Up, and down. So we get that little twist right here. Twist, twist, and down. We get that little twist for our obliques and also for the top of our triceps. If you have two lighter dumbbells, this works too. You can be here. Up, twist, twist, and down. Core, and down. Keep it going. Woo, all my dumbbells in the way, right? Engage, up, twist, twist. Last one. Yes, team, all right. That is it, that is our strength circuit. Did I mention this is a no repeat workout because we're just gonna get it done. Grab one lighter dumbbell, watch me here. We're taking it to a racked lunge and a press for our sweat round. So watch me here. You're gonna rack it here if you can. Reverse lunge and press. Reverse lunge and press. So your press is coming in and out and out. So we get those shoulders, right? Let's get it done. We got 40 seconds modification. You can just tap it back. You can also modify with one dumbbell between two hands. Rack it if you can. Here we go, 40 seconds, racked and press. Woo! Power as you come up. So this is your sweat round, sweat and strength. If you need to, just go back to what we did before, which was just a regular lunge or lunge and pulse, right? Up to you. We're adding some power. We're adding some compound movements to get that heart pumping more. So this is why you may wanna go a little lighter. And breathe. Yes, team. And up, five seconds. And we're adding that heart rate, right? Three, two, one. Huh. I know, catch your breath. 20 seconds to breathe. This is why we have this full 20 seconds in between. Earn that recovery. You don't need to earn it, you can take it, but you know what I mean. Push that heart rate to bring it up. Rack it up one side if you can, two hands if you need to, lighter if you need to. Rack, lunge, and press. Here we go. Down and up. Drop it low. Power up. So use the power from that front leg as well as power from that upper body. Here. Power from the leg, right? Everything working together. Totally fine if that feels like too much. Maybe you're tired like me today. <laughs> Maybe you didn't sleep very well. Maybe you're just not there yet with your strength and you're just realizing that with whatever dumbbells you have, that is okay. Let's just move. Let's get our hearts pumping. Let's get our muscles moving. Three, two, one. Yes, ha. All right, team. So what do we got next? We got our row, watch me here. We're gonna take it, I'm gonna take a little longer to explain this. 
So you got it. We're gonna take it to that kickstand hinge that we talked about, right? So kickstand hinge, row at the bottom, and then either push up to that high pull or hinge and snatch. If you're not comfortable with a snatch, if you've never done it before, do that high pull, row, high pull. Pull that elbow up to here. You're still gonna get the back of the shoulders, you'll still get the power. If you are comfortable with the snatch, you're here. Same idea, you're getting the power from that front leg, from that hinge, from that deadlift, but we're also getting a lot of back and shoulders. We're gonna get it all on one side and then the other. A little switch up from our other side. Zip up that core. I know we took a little longer breather, but I really wanted to make sure you had this form. Ready, here we go. Kickstand, hinge, high pull, or hinge and snatch. And snatch, and that snatch, can also be stepping it in. Whatever's better for you. If you wanna do the kickstand row, step it in, power it up, or come out of it with a snatch or high pull. Whatever works for you, keep it going. Down and up, low, high pull, up and up. You can always just do the row if that's where you are today. Keep it going. Last one, breathe. See, I think I probably could have tried my 15s. Maybe I should have. Sometimes we learn that lesson, but maybe by the end of the workout, I'll be glad that I stuck here. Let's take it other side, hinge, front leg deadlift, row and high pull, row and snatch. Here we go. Hinge, row, high pull, hinge, and snatch and snatch, here, and up, or again, if you need to, and up, if you wanna bring that foot forward first, that might make more sense to give you that power from the snatch, up to you, you do you, and up, yes, last one, and breathe. Yes, team, down on your mat. So to keep the sweat going here, we're gonna take it to that pullover. You can keep the bridge if you want. If you got that in you, I want you to take it all the way up, all the way down. Three, two, one, 40 seconds, pullover. And up, pullover, deep core, Everything pulls in. Bridge, you're here. Take it up. We're gonna keep it just like we did before, but I really want you to get that power coming up. If the roll up is too much for you, take it back to where we were. This works too. Down and up or drop that weight. Just your body weight. Slow, 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 tilt that pelvis. Everything pulls in. Deep core to bring you up. Let's get one more. And up and relax. Slowly up onto your feet, team. This is the last of this sweat and strength round. Strength and strap, sweat, whatever we're calling it. Let's add a little plie. So we're going here. Twist, twist, and down. Here we go. Twist, twist, all the way up. Squeeze up and in. Feel. That core, if you need to go slower than me, if you got something heavier and you really need to take your time with it, that works too. You do you. I know I sound like a broken record, but I've been in this business too long. I know sometimes feel like people feel like they have to be doing it at the exact same pace as the trainer or as everybody else. And no, you do what works for you. You know your body best. And relax. Ah! All right, team, catch your breath, shake it out. Let's get water. I feel like we haven't really gotten water. But the good news is, team, we are halfway done with this workout. This next round is gonna go quick. Mm. All right, so shake it out. We're gonna get into that cardio mobility. 40 seconds, 40 seconds. Ha! Three moves. So you only gotta get through three minutes of this 
purely sweat, body weight, cardio mobility, weights out of the way. We're gonna start with our skater tap, but let's go rainbow to get the mobility through the arms. Join me here, ready, here we go. Here, here. So again, if you need more mobility, you need more of a breather, big arms, get low, cross behind. If you want more cardio, you can still get all that, but you can hop with it. Remember, it's only 40 seconds. Here we go. After this, two more moves. We go into our strength and then our sweat and strength. You're gonna like it. Breathe. Huh. 10 seconds. Skater. Rainbow skater. Three, two, one. Done, catch your breath. All right, team, so. Whew. Let's take it in and out. Two options, in and out, in and out. Step it or jump it, or same thing from here. Three, two, one, bear plank, in and out, in and out. If you want more core, take it here. If you wanna keep it up top, I know from this position, doesn't quite feel as much like mobility, but it's up to you. If you want more core, bear plank, in and out. If you want just the cardio, and you can step it or run it. Whatever is good for you. 15 seconds to go. Get it done. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Yes, you can. Stay with me here. Five, four, three, two, one. And stretch. Ha. Take it up top, guys. All right, last one. You can do low impact jack, you can do high impact jack, or you can do jack to plank jack, right? So we gotta go up and down. Up to you if you wanna keep them all up top or if you wanna add some core. Ready, here we go. So jack, pop it back, jack, pop it up, up, back, and in, up. I know pop-ups. Not everybody loves them, but they are good for mobility. They are good for that hinge, for getting ourselves up and down quickly. But again, if you just wanna be here, that works, or here. But whatever you got, 15 seconds, stick with me. Jack, jack, hook, out. Yes, you can. Yes, you did. Breathe. Huh. That's all the sweat, cardio mobility that we need. Shake it out, team. We're gonna grab one heavy weight, so I'm gonna go with my 15. We're jumping into our strength, all right? Watch me first. We're gonna take one heavy weight goblet squat or one heavy weight low. Same idea as that lunge. We're going one and a half squat or squat and pulse, right? So we're here to here. When we add the sweat, We'll add a press with it, regular squat. Then we're gonna take a curl in, curl out. Then we're gonna add some hamstring curls with that. Then we'll keep it moving, all right? We'll get some planks with a little pike, with a little run. We'll get some chest flies and triceps because y'all keep asking for that. All right, let's get it done. We're gonna go through the strength round. We'll blow through it, then right into the sweat round. Then that is it, ready? Three, two, one and a half squat. Here we go down and up take it down and up or weight low if it's better for you if you only have lighter weights you want to use two weights that works too or down in front you can take it here and up right whatever is good whatever gives you the most on this strength round this isolation round I want you to really push for that strength, right? Here, and up, yes. Last one, and up, woo! All right, team, so bicep curls. I'm gonna need to go a little lighter on this because we're gonna rotate out for shoulders, but you do what's best for you. Watch me here. We're gonna go hammer curl in, hammer curl out. All right, if you need to alternate, you can. If you need to put one foot back, you can. 40 seconds, isolation, curl, and rotate it out. So watch my shoulders. It's externally rotating those shoulders. 
So if that feels weird for you, I know that's why I have to go a little heavier for this on mine, because one of mine is pretty tight, but try to open them up. Try to keep those elbows in close, right? You need to put one foot back if you're leaning into it. Keep it here. Take it up. Take it out. Take it up. And out. Yes. 10 seconds. I know those arms are burning. Mine are too. Up. Whoo. Out. Last one. Oh, yes. Woo. We got lower. We got upper. Stretch it out. Let's take it for a little core down on your knees. So modification. You're going you're gonna to do bird dog, little lift. Bird dog, little lift. That's your modifier. Everybody else, join me here. Knee in and lift. Join me. In. So knee comes in as far as you can come into the chest. And then little elevator. Knee and lift. So almost like a little pike. And get here, here. I know, you know what's hard about that is that your arms are tired, right? From those bicep curls and from everything else we're doing today and your legs are tired, you're feeling those hip flexors. So really think about that core. I know it sounds silly, but mind-body connection. Really think about hips coming in, a little tuck of the pelvis, especially as you lift. Three, two, one, yes. Ha, huh. back up on your feet, team. No, down on your back, team. <laughs> You may want some lighter weights for this, or medium weights, I should say. Chest fly, triceps. If you need to take it to a bridge, take it to a bridge. If you want to take it to a bridge, take it to a bridge. Watch me. Out, in, tries. Join me. Here we go. Out, in, triceps. If that is too heavy for the tries, you can take it straight down into a close grip press. You'll get a little help from your chest but we'll still get the shoulders. Or if you're just not comfortable holding the tries over your head, I get it. Wide with the fly. So fly, we always think about hugging a beach ball, right? You can add the bridge if you want. If you just want that extra glute and hamstring, I love it. My pregnant mamas, I would prefer it. Gives you a little extra, takes that pressure off, right? Last one, boom. Team, let's bring it up. We are going right into this last round. All right, so one heavy dumbbell or two lighter dumbbells. We're taking it to a squat rotational press. I want you to add the rotation so we get the obliques. If that works, you can have two dumbbells here to here. So we're adding the sweat to that squat. When we take it to our biceps, one heavy dumbbell here to here and so forth. I will talk you through it. One weight in the center, 40 seconds, sweat and strength. Here we go, down and up. This is such a functional movement, because what is this? This is lifting something high, putting something up in a cabinet on a shelf. Reach, and the rotation, right? This is the dishwasher, whatever it is. But also it really gets that heart rate up, right? You feel that. We don't have to be going fast or jumping to drive our heart rates up. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one, and breathe. All right, team, so two dumbbells. If it ends up being too heavy, you can take it to one. I'm gonna try with my tens and see how it goes. We're taking our hamstring curl that we do in those warm-ups. We're keeping it slow, but we're curl and curl. Too much? Just pick one. Here we go. Up, up. Here's what I don't want, team. I don't want you to be swinging in your back. So we really have to use the core. And it's not gonna feel like your hamstring curls from cardio. So really slow it down. Up and up. Another option is one at a time. Maybe I'll take it to that. Or again, one heavy dumbbell between the two. Up and up. That works, right? And here, but making sure that you're working to a level that is appropriate for the weight that you're holding. Three, two, one. Relax. All right, team, let's take it down. So we've got our plank 
If you're staying in the bird dog, you're gonna take it out, lift, out, lift, same thing. Otherwise, we're gonna run it. Three, two, one, lift. Join me. Three, two, one, lift. Woo! Three, two, one. You know I love a good mountain climber, but I really want you to think about sticking it at the top. Three, two, hop. It's not how fast we can go, it's keeping the core engaged while we also keep that core working. Modification, you're just bird dog, lift. Bird dog, lift. You can tap it back if you want, but keep it going. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, lift. Strong core. Three, two, one, up. Yes, three, two, one, and relax. Breathe. All right, team. So, chest fly, triceps, we're gonna add a little leg lower if you want. If you prefer to stick with the bridge, stick with the bridge. Otherwise, team, you can take it here. Fly, here, try. Join me, here we go. Last 40 seconds of the sweat and strength. Right, Woo. yes, breathe. Huh. There we go. Ah, I know. Take it up and down. Ugh. Yes. Shh. Breathe. Bridge works too. That's your modifier. Strong arms, strong core. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Ah. You guys, that felt like it went too fast. The first half of the workout felt longer. That one felt quick for me, but hopefully, looks like we got it all in based on my notes. Bring it up, quick sip of water. Let's get it done, team. How about a bonus move? Why not? All right, team. So, you are gonna keep one heavy weight on each side of your space, whatever that is for you. If you got it, cover the space. All right, we're gonna do that skater. I'm gonna do my row, skater, I'm gonna do my row. My row is on the outside, which is a little different than what we normally do when we do a lunge and row, right? Skater, row, and then if you wanna bring it in the center and you wanna pop it back, twist, twist, pop it in. The twist is optional. If you just wanna keep the skater row, skater row, you can go twist, twist up top, or take it down, twist, twist. I really wanna get the obliques. If you wanna rotate it out with it, you can, but it's up to you. So weight on either side. We're getting cardio mobility. We're getting strength with the curtsy lunge. We're getting strength with the row. We're gonna get core. We're gonna get it all done. Last minute. Y'all, this workout. Here we go. Skater, row, skater, Woo! row. Take it center, up and down, twist and twist. Skater, outside row. Make sure it's one of your heavy ones if you can. Take it center, pop it back, twist, twist, pop it in. Skater, row, skater, row, high or low, twist, twist, and up. Yes, Hup. halfway there, you can do it. Good form on that row. Take it back. If you want, twist and twist. Yes. Skater, don't get sloppy because you're tired. I know, I felt myself there, right? Pop it back. Twist. Can we get one more? Let's get it done, even if we're over time. Take it up. Up. Finish it out. Twist. Twist, yes, you did it. Sit back, child's pose. I know, ah, come up on your knees if that is comfortable for you. Let's take it here, little stretch, I know. Ah, if that's not comfortable for you, go ahead, just bring it up, standing position, but if you can, and then let's lean into it open up through here. So kind of like a lower version. 
world's greatest stretch, right? Hip flexor, other side. You did it! Ha, huh, how do you feel, team? Whew. It's one of those that felt long and short to me. Felt long, especially that first half. Second half, I felt like went super quick, but still felt long in the moment. Bring it up, round it all the way up. Ha. Huh. So please let me know what you thought in the comments. Sometimes it's really fun to break it down in little blocks. Body weight, cardio sweat, strength with the dumbbell, sweat and strength with the dumbbell. Five minutes, five minutes, three minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Sometimes that's better for our brain, again, to just think of them in short blocks. Whatever works for you to keep you moving through it, keep you challenging yourself, yes, I'm gonna say be where you are today. And some days that's a rest, some days that's lighter weights, some days that's taking more breaks. But I also want you to be challenged. Remember, there is going to be a little bit of feeling uncomfortable. That is when we grow, that is when we change. But remember, it's uncomfortable because you're challenging yourself. It's hard because you're working hard, right? If it's not hard, you might need to do something different or you might need to just keep showing up, right? If it's not hard, that does not mean that you didn't get the benefit. It just might mean you wanna go a little heavier or do something a little different if that's higher impact, heavier weights, whatever it is for you. But remember, that is where we see change. When we get a little bit uncomfortable, when we push through that, when we embrace it. Remember, we always talk about stress in a negative context, right? We always talk about stress being oh, I'm stressed, oh, it's so stressful, yes. But when we work out, we intentionally put stress on our body to grow, to change, to adapt, get, to get stronger. Take that hand back. If you have a wall, put it on a wall, otherwise just reach it back here. And if you're able, get a little quad stretch. If not, just bring it here, whoo, yes. So keep that in mind, I know it's tricky. And that's why I always remind you, it's hard because you're working hard. It's not hard because you can't do it. It's hard because you did do it. Always repeat that to yourself. You're here, you showed up, you are strong, you are capable. We are here to push ourselves. That was hard for me because I was working hard, right? <laughs> so let's keep showing up together. I'm so glad that you are here today. Please make sure, let's take those fingertips down, let your head drop that you let me know in the comments if you liked this format, what you wanna see more of, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. When you subscribe, that helps me be able to keep making these free workouts for you. So please hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, that way you always know what is coming up, what I have in store for you, and when there's live workouts, new challenges. Check out all the links in the description. Join us over in the Body Fit Athletic Club. And of course, don't forget to make sure that you get the emails so you can get the links early. Before the videos are released, you can get the free monthly and weekly calendars. And again, you can get information on everything else, Body Fit by Amy. Oh, one big deep breath in, you did it. Thank you so much for being here today. That was your dumbbell strength and sweat workouts. Great job, everybody.